Hello there, my Cancerians. So today we're going to be talking about the overall astrology for your sign for the year of 2024 and um, what general energies you can expect for the rest of the year. Um, so at the end, we'll pull a few cards, a couple of oracle cards, some tarot cards, and see if there's any other additional messages, but this is... Uh, generally an astrology reading. It's best to use your rising signs, so this is especially for my Cancer risings. If you don't know your rising sign, just use your sun sign. It should be fine. Messages are meant to find you the way that they do for a reason. Uh, you can also use your moon or Venus sign as well and see if that makes sense. So check out the other signs if that makes sense for you. All right, so we'll get started. Kicking off the year on January 2nd, Mercury goes direct after being in retrograde, and it goes direct in the sign of Scorpio. So it's a trine to your sign. So what that does is, for you, it's opening the doors to communication. Um, there may be conversations that were put on pause, things that you were kind of keeping inside that you weren't really ready to talk about yet. Um, so that does free up space. Or if you've been waiting on some news, um, that may mean that this news may finally come to you after a delay in information. On February 5th, Mars goes into Capricorn, which opposes your sign. Um, so that can, so Mars has to do with energy, passion, and drive. Uh, also conflict, so there could be some frustration and setbacks throughout the month of February. You may be a bit irritable and a little bit unmotivated. Uh, that'll lift around March 15th, so if you're feeling a little bit annoyed and kind of bogged down throughout February, you can look forward to March with that energy lifting for you. Uh, Mercury goes into Aries on March 26th. It is a cardinal sign, just like Cancer is. Although it's squaring you, um, that may give you the motivation to speak on some things that have been challenging you um, to try to solve the issues as long as you don't get too excited there. Uh, so April 2nd through the 24th, Mercury goes into retrograde. If you don't already know about Mercury retrograde, um, that can mess with communication, electronics, put delays in information that's coming to you. Um, it can make you feel a little bit on edge, sometimes car issues especially electronic car issues sometimes can happen, not always though. Um, so it comes out of retrograde on April 25th in the sign of Pisces, which is a water sign and trines your sign of Cancer. Um, so as the energy lifts, it'll be a nice, calm, kind of tranquil feeling. So you can look forward to some relaxation towards the end of April. Um, and also Mars goes into Pisces April 23rd, which also trines Cancer. It can leave you feeling a little bit lazy and unmotivated, but it's that peaceful relaxation that you need. Sometimes laziness isn't really laziness. It's more like recharging and relaxing after being frazzled for so long. Venus goes into Aries, though, on April 24th, which, although it squares your sign, it is another cardinal sign like yours. Um, and I actually think that that's going to be lucky for you in the love department and with, you know, possibly with money. You'll feel a sudden relief and a huge weight drop around the end of April of 2024. Um, so in June, Mars goes into Aries. Um, so it's definitely the time for action. Um, be careful not to make too many hasty decisions or, you know, you could end up going backwards if you end up making a decision too quickly without thinking it over first. Um, I think that it's going to be a really busy summer for you. And in August, on the 5th, Mercury goes retrograde in the sign of Leo. 
if you don't already know, Mercury goes retrograde about three times a year. It's nothing unusual. It's just good to be aware of what sign it's in and how it relates to your birth chart. Um, it does go direct in Cancer in your sign on August 29th, which is favorable for you. Um, Mars goes into retrograde in Cancer um, in December on the 7th, so that could leave you again feeling on edge, a little bit irritable. It does go direct in February of 2025, so if the end of the year um, of 2024 gets a little bit annoying and frustrating, don't worry, you'll see the light at the end of the tunnel come February. Everybody gets kind of grumpy in the winter time anyhow, so it's nothing really new. Um, and Venus will be in Capricorn, which is in opposition to, to Cancer. Um, it is another cardinal sign, though, and I think even though it's in opposition, sometimes an opposition can actually complement the energy, and it can balance it out. Um, so that will kind of help keep you grounded throughout the Mars going into retrograde. So despite the frustrations, I think that, you know, you will feel a little bit cozy and secure with Venus being in Capricorn. All right, my Cancers, that about sums it up for your astrology for the year of 2024. Let's take a look at some of the, uh, some, we'll pull a few tarot cards and a few oracle cards. This isn't going to be a full-blown reading, but just a general overlook. Um, and also stay tuned. I am working on some readings for January for all the zodiac signs. Those should be coming out in the next couple of weeks or so. Um, if I have enough energy left, I want to get them out in the next couple of days, but we'll see what happens. I never, ever, ever like to do readings unless my energy feels right. If my energy feels depleted and I'm not feeling right, it's a disservice trying to do a reading when the energy's not there. So I apologize if it takes a little longer. So right out of the... a card flew out of the deck. I'm gonna pick it up here and see what we've got. So we've got the hanged man in the reverse. You've been waiting on something, Cancer, and that makes sense. Um, talking about communication coming through at the beginning of the year as Mercury goes direct in Scorpio. So there's been something you've been waiting on, most likely some communication um, with that hanged man in the reverse. And you also just didn't want to see it from the other person's point of view because you feel that they have their head up their ass. There might be some kind of change that's going to happen that will get you to want to open up and be a little bit open-minded and hear what they have to say. Use your discernment. It's your judgment. You know if it's worth listening to or not. And we've got the tower in the reverse. I almost feel like you don't quite want to let this issue go until you have more of the answers. You're not wanting to see it go down and crumble. You're not wanting to let this go. You're not wanting to see this go away until you have some more answers and some more closure, which I think, like I said, you'll get around January 2nd, um, first half of January, I would say. I would say mid-February at the latest, you should be getting these answers that you're looking for. Mm -hmm. With that moon card, something's being hidden from you. You don't quite know the full truth on this situation. And we've got the Seven of Wands. So, yep, that's right, Cancer. You've got your guard up. You have your guard up with this person. You feel like you don't have all the answers yet and you're waiting to find out more and to see how the truth unfolds. And I don't blame you. I wouldn't want to let my guard down either. I feel like there's got to be a little more. I'm just gonna pull maybe another card or two and see if that'll give us a little more clarification if there's anything you're meant to know. So we've got the Ace of Cups in the upright, so I think that this could lead to emotional new beginnings. Um, this could be the start of the potential for a new relationship. Maybe you've been kind of trying to decide if you want to get romantically involved with this person because you feel like you don't know all the answers yet. 
Now, if you know that they're a toxic freaking shitbag or whatever, you know, use your, dis use your discernment, you know the answers more than I do. This talks about emotional healing and the emotional new beginnings um, with just being by yourself and embracing being single. Or if you're trying to decide between two different people, like, I mean, don't two-time people, but let's say that you're thinking about an ex and you're considering this new person that's coming on in, if that's your situation... It is saying that things are looking bright and hopeful for this new person. Depending on how your situation is, you'll know the answer of, you know, what I'm talking about here. And then we've got temperance that talks about balance and peace. You could, some of you could also be dealing with someone with Sagittarius placements. Let's pull a few oracle cards and see if there's any information there. So I'm going to pull a couple of oracle cards from the Love Who You Are deck. Isn't that artwork beautiful? Like, that Luna Moth is amazing. I was lucky enough to see one in real life once, like, many, many years ago. It's just, it's hard to describe. It's majestic. Uh, they also have a lot to do with transformation. So if you've been seeing moths or butterflies, that's all about transformation and new life and new blessings. All right, my Cancerians, let's see if there's any messages here. So we've got easy does it. Yep, that's right. You know, some of you need some rest and relaxation and peace after, you know, maybe some drama and some frazzled nerves that were going on. And there's a p cute picture of a bunny. Become a wonder hunter. And there's also a full moon in the background there. Kind of goes hand in hand with that moon card I pulled earlier. And celebrate the little things. Was the issue going on with you and your partner having to do with one of you or both of you becoming complacent with one another? Like, maybe you felt underappreciated or maybe they felt underappreciated by you and it wasn't intentional on your part. Um, that could possibly be what's going on here. So I'm going to pull a couple of oracles from... Uh, oracle cards from my homemade deck. Some of it has timelines, some of it's love messages. We'll see what messages want to come out for my cancers here. What do we have for cancer for the year of 2024? Interesting. My actions versus my words will tell you everything you need to know. Take it or leave it. Take what resonates. If it makes sense, take it. If it doesn't, it's not for you. And then we have full moon in Libra, uh, late March or April. So late March or April could be a significant time of year regarding your situation. Uh, the person that you're dealing with could have Libra somewhere significant in their chart. Or besides Cancer, maybe you also have Libra in your chart. So we'll, uh, now, so this next deck of cards, it's a regular deck of playing cards. So if you don't really, uh, if you're not a person that likes swear words or sarcasm, skip this part, it's not for you. Chances are, if you're tuned into my channel, yeah, you swear and you're sarcastic. Or at least you think it's funny when I do. So... This is a artist, Effin Birds, that's based out of Canada. It is beyond hilarious. <laughs> so we'll see if there's any messages, even if it has nothing to do with your situation. It's entertaining. <laughs> so the first card that came out says, Eat Farts. Well, if anybody's been give you any, giving you any shit cancer, tell them to eat farts. And this one says, Jesus H. Fuck. <laughs> and then we have, this place is bullshit. Oh, maybe you're annoyed about work. I mean, a lot of, a lot of people are. It's not anything that's uncommon. 
Well, I hope that cheered you up and lightened the mood. I hope everything in this reading made sense for you. And remember, uh, you can look forward to the January tarot readings that I'll be putting out for all the signs. All right, my Cancerians, I hope you have a great rest of your night, great rest of your afternoon. Thank you so much for watching.